Watching Your Pet Today with All Valley Animal. Good morning. Welcome to Your Pet Today with us again, Dr. Sarah Hadley and two adorable little kittens. And that is Butterfinger. Butterfinger was being fine during commercial yeah. break now. Right. He's all excited. Right the camera got he on knows, us. Uh, he knows the camera's on him. And this is <clears> Baby Ruth. <throat> Baby Ruth is very, very sweet. So we are talking about fireworks and pets. So first, how should you prepare your pet for fireworks? Um, well, at this, at this point in the game, um, there, are, there are a few things you can do. There's a product called a Thunder Shirt and a few others like it that is a, it's like a jacket or a vest that you put on your dog uh -huh. and, and it just compresses their body. You can think of it like a reassuring hug. Um, yeah. You know, pressure is comforting to, in, in many cases. Oh, they're like weighted blankets for yes. adults. Yes, there are, um, there are pheromone products that you can put in your house. Hmm. There, are, um, there are medications your veterinarian can prescribe. <laughs> um, and, you know, that's what it takes for some animals. The other thing you need to do to prepare is make sure you have a plan for how, how are you going to keep your animals enclosed this weekend yeah. so they can't get out if they panic? Yes. Okay. Um, so for the fourth, lots of dogs. Even do cats get scared? Cats get scared well? too. I think it's, it seems like dogs have it worse, but cats, cats don't always have a fun time either. And they will find a way to escape. Yes. So the best thing to do, where should you, where should people put them? I would recommend actually keeping them in the house uh, because I've seen them dig under fences or push their way through weak spots in the fence. Yeah. And then they take off in this 100 degree weather alone and terrified and they they suffer heat damage yeah, too. Yeah. That's very so sad. If you're keeping them in the house alone, you're going out to fireworks. What should you mm -hmm. make sure to do for them? So so if you if you have a dog that's fearful of noise, um, you know, all of the measures I just talked about with the jackets and medications and mm -hmm. pheromones. You can also play music or turn oh. a fan on so it doesn't cover the noise. They still know it's out there, but at least it might dull it a little bit. The other thing is to make sure they have some, some kind of safe nest. You know, if, if they're crate trained, that's great. Or, or just make sure they have access to an interior room, like a bathroom or a closet that doesn't have windows, you know, so yeah. they can get as far away as possible. All right, great ideas. Noise. So let's talk about Baby Ruth and Butterfinger. Baby Ruth loves my necklace here, but she is very sweet. She's been purring all morning long. They are up for adoption, but not quite yet. They're only seven weeks old, so yep. next week you yes. can adopt them. Yep. Is that correct? They need another week on them. All right, so very cute seven-week-old kittens. If you would like these guys, just call All Valley Animal Care Center. That number is 287-3100. And thank you, Sarah, like always. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for being these, bringing these ador uh, adorable guys. Next week, we'll have a new topic at 630. We'll send it back to the desk.